In this video, we are continuing work on the post on the manage post page of the admin section, and we are going to be adding uh, the table action section, which is basically um, this uh, group of inputs as well as the buttons that appear on top of the table. So let us add the HTML for that. I'm going to go to the index.html file inside our post folder in the admin section, and then where we added the featured post form. Just beneath that, I'm going to add a div with a class of table actions. Now the table actions is made up of two parts. We have the input group to the left and the buttons to the right. So I'm going to add a div with a class of table filter group. And this will represent those inputs that filter the table. And then the other sub element is going to be table buttons representing the buttons to the right. Now the table filter group is going to have a search input. The name attribute is simply going to say search term and we will give it an ID of search post input. We'll give it a placeholder of simply search. Okay and that will be it for the search input. The next uh, element is the uh, drop down so it will be a select option drop down it will have a name of filter posts an id of the same thing filter posts and it will have some options within it the first of them being uh, an option that simply says filter and when you select this option it will filter all articles on the page so this is basically the default option so the next option is going to say all and it's going to explicitly say select all and we'll duplicate this a number of times to um, produce the other options so we'll have oldest and drafts let's take out the last one and then we should also make sure the names that display are, are matching the value so here it should be oldest but it shouldn't be all caps again newest popular published and drafts okay then on the right side of the table, we have the uh, table buttons, which is basically going to be the trash button and the add post button. So these buttons are going to be uh, displayed as links because when we click on them, they are going to take us to other pages. We are going to define some classes that will make them look like buttons. And these classes include BTN for the shape and size, uh, for the shape and then warning btn for the colors and then small btn for the size okay we are going to define these classes uh, much later on now the name of this button is simply going to be trash and it is also going to have an icon so let us go once again to our icon pack and we search for trash we click on this one and copy the source code Okay, we paste it before the name trash and we make sure we give it a class of icon so that we can grab it later on and style it. And that is it for the trash button. The next one is going to be the add post button. Again, we'll also give it some classes, uh, BTN and primary BTN so that it has a blue color and then small BTN for the size. The button is going to say add post and it is also going to have an icon uh, which is basically a an encircled plus so let us search for plus and this is the icon we want we click on the code snippet and then we add it before the name and we'll be sure to add the icon class as well okay so this is the html let us refresh and see what it looks like so far okay so now we need to do our magic with css 
Now the CSS we are adding right now is essentially just to um, align the items well and not really to design the buttons because that is going to be done in another video. So let us go to our HTML. Um, what we are selecting is a table actions and uh, this seems like a pretty common class that can be used in other places. Um, so I want to specify make this one a little bit more specific so i'm going to just say admin form i'm going to add a class of admin form to the large box div and then we're going to select this form first sorry admin table then we're going to select this table first before picking the table actions within it so let us go to our styles uh, tables are actually a kind of component so I'm going to create a section under the components that is after the header so let's scroll down to where the header, the header ends um, so after the responsive the media queries for the header we can now start styling our tables okay so we are going to select admin table and then table actions now the table actions we are going to display using flex um let's take a look at the html so the table actions has two uh, sub sub elements or two descendants so if we give it a display of flex it's going to be automatically displayed in the row fashion with the buttons to the left and the input group to the with the buttons to the right and the input group to the left now if you want the buttons to be pushed to the far right we are just simply going to do justify content uh space between sorry space between and then we refresh and the buttons will be pushed to the right okay so now let's just give a bit of padding so we'll give a padding of 10 pixels top and bottom and then 0 pixels left and right and then let's do align item center okay this will basically centralize the the two elements vertically in the parent component or in the parent uh, element now another thing we might do we might want to do is to make sure that the two elements are going to represent 50 percent of the width like that is the two descendants of table actions should each have 50 percent of the width so let me select them and uh, let's add uh, a border around them so that we can identify them easily so we are selecting the table filter group and let's give it a red border then we do a similar thing we select the table buttons so i copy the table actions then I pick out the table buttons give it a uh, let's say blue border okay we refresh and they are kind of just uh, just hiding in their corners let's just give them uh, a width of 50% x each and again when we are displaying using flex we can it is recommended that we use the flex basis property instead of width so this function is the same as the width property but it is recommended to use flex basis whenever we are displaying using flex so let us refresh okay and this looks good for the buttons we want them to be aligned to the right so let's make sure for that one with the text align or uh, right okay we can now take out the borders and we have successfully designed our, our table actions.